Hello dogs, Little Dog right here right now. Welcome back to Random 1440 Austria in Age of Civilizations 2. Now, let's check our Holy Roman Empire elections. Luca is our emperor right now, and they must be having a really good game. I love how Mainz became the emperor once, like, that's just great. Anyways, we finally made... We finally made a landing in, uh... The, in a territory uh, that we need for the Austrian Empire. So... Yeah. I'm eating some chips, by the way. Some chips. Also, this is the first video I'm going to be attempting to edit. I've been thinking about invading these blue guys. Astrakhan right here, because... They do not particularly like me. And I'm pretty sure for very good reasons. Like, I can bet you that there are very good reasons why they do not like me. Namely, invading everyone around me. And going on a massive conquering spree. Looks like these guys are at it again with uh, Yutsang. Yutsang just keeps getting more and more powerful. We are going to have to end them very soon. I'm thinking about getting through the punching bag of Barry right here. Because if you don't know, they're basically a hop, skip, and a jump away from you saying. So. Alright, let's see what we can pull off here. So trying to cover all of our tracks is going to be very difficult. Looks like we may need another 2,000. 3,000, sorry.
Nah, I plan on taking out Q later anyways. Our armies are almost set and ready to go. All right. Alright, so now we're going to have a, a thousand on every border. No! If we get lucky here, we may be able to take them all out in one turn. If we get lucky with our movements. Sure, shoe. Whatever. Here we go, boys. Move, 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 move. Well, there went most of their military. All in the initial stages of the invasion. We've got this one in the bag. There's... I'm gonna be shocked if we somehow fail this. Alright, secure Moscow. That looks much better. Alright. So, kind of 
want to talk about. A few things. First off, would you guys be interested in me playing some modded scenarios? I saw this really cool Skyrim map with, uh... Stu a lot of stuff to do, like... I would be interested in playing as the Stormcloaks and... Becoming a very dominant Skyrim. It was- it actually wasn't just like a Skyrim map, I believe it was like... The entire Elder Scrolls series in general. And in all honesty, I may actually play that without you guys. Without you guys saying anything to me, it's just... Just want to know your opinion. Because recently I began playing Skyrim and... Oh boy, it's a really fun... It. I'm having a freaking blast with it. Oh... Sky Rim. I sided with the Imperials on my first playthrough, by the way, if you're wondering. Like, I agree that the Nords are being treated poorly in the game. But I think the Empire couldn't really do much about it. And I think if the Empire loses Skyrim, I think the next war with the Old Mary Dominion would end in an utter failure. Like, it's not going to end well without the Nords. Alright. Well, let's begin our... Kinda wanna begin our movements into, uh... Barry. Yute Sang is going to be one tough cookie to crack. I'm just going to let you know that now. They're going to be... Oh, so tough. And so, we need to be prepared with as many forces as we can pull out. Yu Sang has a lot of territory. So here we go. My plan is coming to fruition. I am going to absolutely obliterate Barry. Not my friend Barry from... Not my friend Barry from, uh... Discord, not you, pal. The country of Barry. Alright, we're ready. Wait, I should have looked to see if they had any allies. They do not have any allies, but they are friendly, so I'm gonna... Ah, I accidentally hit freaking next turn before I finished my move.
Alrighty then, that ended in horrible failure for you, pal. Let's just go ahead and finish off that area near Yutseng. And there are some tribal nations nearby Barry that we can just easily... That we can just easily yeet off the face of the earth. We can also, we can also yeet Yonggu just so we can get some more territory to build up. I don't see this territory ever becoming important later in the future, but eh. Oh, and it looks like people are beginning to colonize the wastelands. Oh boy. Alright, time to yeet Barry off the face of the earth. Alright, Barry has been slain, which I believe is actually a country near France. Interesting that they have a area named Barry, and we've taken the Lithuanian capital, so that should give us quite a bit more power. I think I'm gonna consolidate more power over here. Take out these smaller nations, maybe make my borders look a lot better and stuff. And then maybe we'll go and finally take out Shu. And yep. We have a very angry berry on our hands. I'm just now imagining, like... A blueberry screaming at me. <laughs> Use this power to our advantage. Alright, let's yeet some of these smaller neighbors out here. Let's see. You. You look like you're gonna be a really easy target to just take out in one go. So I'm just gonna wipe you out now. And put you out of your misery and stuff. Let's see. Do you have any allies? No, you don't, but you are good friends with two other nations, which I don't care about. Oh! Uh. Oh! I didn't realize you were a native tribe. Heck, I think, I think like most of you over here are. Hey, there's Augsburg. Oh my god, I didn't realize these six soldiers were sitting out here. And I didn't realize these five were sitting out here either.
Surprisingly enough, Wallachia is actually... Alright, I did not see that coming. I guess it's time to turn our attention over to... The East. Guess let's, our, let's get our militaries up over here. Oh! Oh, that's not you. Where is your ally? Yognu. Oh, that's the... Oh, okay. I understand now. Looks like we're making our move east instead of what we were originally going to do. Which was beat the crap out of some smaller nations. That's seriously all you had? I'm going to go ahead and pull Yonggu into this war too, just to take them out as well. Yeah, you, you can go back to what you're doing. Normally, the Native American tribes aren't really a, a threat. Any tribe isn't really a... Th any tribal nation in this game isn't really a threat. They don't have the population to deal with all... To deal with this. Okay. So they do have some sort of military. Cool. At least I'm not going to mow them over like I normally do with these Native American tribes and other games. Like, usually I can just mow them over. And I'm just conquering them with something comparable to a militia. Whew, boy. All right. <laughs> Luka is still at war with people. Can't wait to find who this where this Lucka country is. Is it over here in the Americas? Nope, I do not see them. Alright, well my military's almost arrived at its destination. just do For a moment there that territory was occupied God freaking dang it Make conquering the last territory tough of course, it's Ufa, the capital of win, and the, the dust settles.
All right. So let's peace out with you. Let's take all of your territory. And then... Let's take all of yours. And then divide you up over here. Alright, so let's begin improving relations with Shu. Let's actually send them a gift so they can, uh... Try to increase their relations with us back. By the way, I hate how declining gifts means... Didn't I ask for a peace deal? Didn't I ask for a peace deal with both of you, and you were supposed to accept them because I had you both conquered? There we go. I was about to freaking say. You're trying to send some gold to someone and they decline it and then you lose relations because of that. Dude, I've just tried sending you gold. <laughs> like it offended them or something. Let's see here, province stability. All right, yes, we're gonna have to. Cool, I was about to go to war with you anyways. So this isn't really a surprise to me because I already have troops on your border. And I'm invading you right now as we speak. Okay, that's a change in plans, because I think these guys actually border me. Oh. <laughs> My god. All of these countries are just making it worse for themselves. You realize I'm currently in the middle of invading this country right next to you, and I can just easily invade you now.
come back down here, buddy. I was not expecting him to have that many soldiers. That was insane. And quite impressive, and if I'm being honest. Ah, I love even when they're losing, they still get to move first. I've had many of my plans in this game get ab- I've complained about this many times before, but... I have had many of my pl war plans get, like, curb stomped just because the enemy got to move first, like, five freaking times in a row. And it happens more often than you think because it's like... Oh, I'm gonna move first, right now. And the next turn, and the next turn, and the next turn, and the next turn, and I'm not going to stop moving first. I, I at least don't curse now. I have been busy trying to work on this territory, trying to get it assimilated into the Empire. We're gonna have to get worried about freaking Ultretch because they are probably on their way here right now as we speak. Oh, and lately I've actually had the bloodiest war I've ever had in this game. Are you kidding me? They're across the sea as well? Let me just check. Well, alrighty then. That's all you have left. Alright. So, Ultrich. Well, we definitely are going to border Old Tretch now. I think I now have the power to just blast my way through Europe. Your territory is expensive. That was a... Wow! Why did the price just suddenly increase for me assimilating territories? Holy crap!
All right. Alrighty then, it's getting to a point where I'm beginning to not be able to afford assimilation after uh, one turn. Oh, Age of Discovery. That means uh, Columbus uh, discovered America at this point. If he even exists in this freaking timeline. <laughs> Who in Spain? Yeah, this territory is expensive to assimilate right now. But I'm getting it. Alright, so we are obviously going to be spending Latia. Not really, Latia. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will offer you military access. And you can go across my territory just to get to Poland. Just don't destroy anything, okay? Military access, people tend to have the habit of looting every... In the early days, people would have the habit of looting every village and territory they came across. It happened on the First Crusade. And a lot of the empires that... A lot of the empires that had towns that were pillaged were understandably not too happy about that. The first crusade ended up being a success, but it was the only crusade that actually ended up succeeding. And... <laughs> oh! You wanna sign peace right now, now that you realize how dumb this whole war seems? Like... I'm literally not going to be able to support a war to reach you. Like, that's not going to happen at all. I guess I'm gonna have a military over here. And then I'm gonna have a military over here. I'm gonna split up my two militaries to focus on the east and western ports. Eastern and western parts of the empire. The next few turns I'm most likely gonna spend on province stability. So you're most likely not going to be saying this depending on whether or not I decide to edit this video. So then. We have made lots of progress. We have fought several wars. Think I think that was a coalition we just absolutely wiped out there. Because... Normally, normally when three or more countries declare war on you all at once, that's normally a coalition being formed against you. And I'm slowly catching up to you, Tsang. Achoo boy! 
Oh my god! The gap they have between us. Ah! There you are! You're all the way in India. Ooh. Well, I'm currently one of the more powerful empires here. And I actually have a vote now. I actually have a chance to get and become the emperor again. Right now, though, this is my empire. You may not like what, lo what it looks like right now, but too bad. This is what it's going to look like. I'm just kind of blobbing out because people just keep declaring war on me and stuff. And Moscow was secured for the first time. Like for once we have actually secured our capital. And so this is where I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.